Doug Lehman, breaking it down in layman's terms. And I've got a special guest. I've got a true sales leader, a practitioner out there. No BS sales school. I've got Walker McKay. Now, Walker McKay's got a phenomenal podcast, an extensive background in sales, whether it's in banking, real estate, Sandler training, now his own company where he's a principal. Walker, no BS today. In layman's terms, welcome. Hey, thank you, Doug. I'm so glad to be here. You're a great guy, and I appreciate you inviting me today. Well, I appreciate that. You coming on because we've actually connected online virtually, and I had a chance to watch some of your work on the Sales Experts channel, and that was the first connection. But, yeah. hey, man, I'm digging the podcast. I'm digging the concept of no BS sales school. Now, how'd you come up with that? You know, it's funny. I've, there's so much BS in sales between buyers and sellers. Uh, there's so many things. There's so much smoke between the two. There's never seems to be a real conversation. It always seems to be a struggle to get the truth out. And I was able um, through a bunch of years and a bunch of screwing things up, able to figure out a way that buyers and sellers can communicate with each other without all the BS and that salespeople don't waste buyers time because they figure out quickly, maybe they're not going to be the right fit and it's respectful and it's easier and it makes for much better relationships down the road. Well, I love that because you're taking your own experiences and you're working with the buyers because not everybody's a fit for you. But I got to be honest with you, I love the podcast. I mean, I haven't been to your school, but the podcast, you know, the 107 or so interviews in or episodes and the rant is phenomenal. And you're doing a lot with the video work as well. And I'm a big proponent of video. Let's talk a little bit about the podcast and what are you looking for in your audience? I mean, you're bringing on different guests. If you could just kind of give me an overview of what goes on to your podcast and what's sure. a, the, what's the ideal. Called, yeah, the podcast is called the No BS Sales School Podcast. Um, the audience is entrepreneurs, founders, salespeople, sales managers, business owners. So it's business people, right? And I mean, a lot of my audience is salespeople, but we're all salespeople. You know, everybody's got to sell. And so what I try and do is bring on guests that are have relatable information and give actionable advice to people that either have sales as a profession or need to be selling and need to be better at it. And so what I ask people to do is come on and tell the truth and, and be yourself and cuss if you need to and, and be vulnerable if you need to. But come and share to people because there's so much crap out there mm -hmm. that goes for sales training. And I want to tell people it doesn't have to be that way. Well, you, you you don't want it filtered. You want the, the realness, no BS. And that, that comes with your training as well. I mean, I'm yes. extensive background with clients. You've been at it for a while with your sales background, but with the no BS school, break it down in lamest terms. Like I know it's a loaded question, but, and, and it's customized yes. and it's, and it's very developed, very case specific, but an ideal client, what makes you want to work with a particular client out there? So it's typically one of two types. One is a founder. They're probably doing half a million dollars in revenue or more. And they're saying to themselves, shit, I got to build a sales team. We've got to grow this thing. I got to get in growth mode. And we're, we're, I know we're going to survive now. And now I've got to go grow this thing. And they don't know how to do that. They don't know how to put the pieces in place. So I help people with that. So that's number one. Number two, ideal client is probably a business owner, CEO, maybe VP of sales who has somewhere between five and 20 salespeople. Typically, it's privately owned. I can work with a bigger sales team, but that's my sweet spot. Usually, they're not number one in their marketplace. They're probably number two or number three or a bit player. And the way they're going to grow is they got to go steal market share from somebody else. And they want to do that without freaking cutting their margins. They want to do that you know, the right way, going to find the right customers they can work with. And so we help them cut through a lot of the BS, how to negotiate better, how to, how to differentiate yourself from the other players in the marketplace. So, and I, typically the guys I work with are Mavericks. They're not somebody that's done it the same old way all the time. Somebody that comes to me says, I am sick and tired of the same old thing. I got to do it a different way. Well, they're looking for a change. And what, what I love about it is you've got customizable programs. It's not a cookie cutter setup. No. You're, you're customizing it, repeatable sales success. Walker, it's been a true pleasure to get a chance to get, meet you virtually. Is there anything else that you would like to add for our audience here in layman's terms before we wrap this up? Tell you one thing I'd like to add is that I've just finished a course. It's called the No BS Sales System Course. I teach a sales system. And this course is 12 modules, about four hours of video, and a 40-page workbook that will show you how to sell in a no BS way, how to um, how to maintain equal business stature with your buyer, how to um, ask questions and the right questions so you can get the information you need to figure out if they're going to be the right fit. So to find that course, go to my website, walkermckay.com. Well, let's put all the information on this video, and I want to thank you, Walker, and I want to thank our audience out there in layman's terms for social watching.